right now, dozens of seniors are out of their home after a fire at the Washington Square Apartments in Cudahy. 12 News reporter Madison Moore joins us live now from Packard and Barnard this morning. And Madison, the bitter cold temperatures created a number of challenges for the firefighters and those displaced residents. Yeah, it sure did, Jaron. As the firefighters trying to battle the flames in that bitter cold, they were shooting from the third floor of this apartment complex here, which mainly houses senior citizens and people with disabilities. And as they were fighting those flames, their, the water from their hoses is actually creating a really dangerous ice rink. Take a look here on the sidewalk. You can see a lot of that ice is still left over as those firefighters tried to evacuate all of the residents right across the street to the nearby laundromat. I was trying to get to the to the laundromat. I fell down and I got boo boos. Um, fell down and two cops picked me up and helped me across the street. Well, a neighbor across the street captured cell phone video as flames and smoke billowed out of the third floor here at Washington Square Apartments on Packard Avenue. The sub-zero temperatures creating a difficult task for firefighters to get the flames under control and everyone to safety. But luckily, no one was seriously injured. The Cudahy Fire Chief telling 12 News only one man was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Now, tenants were then bused from the laundromat to the Cudahy Library while they waited for an overnight shelter at Holler Park to be organized. But Mother Nature continue to cause problems when tenants arrived to the Red Cross shelter. The bus couldn't even get up the driveway, so we had to go by ambulances five at a time. So it was like the fire was at like 8.30. We didn't get here until after 3, you know. It was like at that point it was like, oh no, what else can happen? Now, the tenants I spoke with say that they didn't get much sleep last night arriving there in the early morning hours. Now, Red Cross does tell me that 29 tenants stayed overnight at that shelter at Holler Park. Other residents went with family and friends. Now, it's unclear at this time when the tenants will be allowed to get back inside to their homes here at Washington Square Apartments, and the cause of the fire remains under investigation. All right, and if any of those residents happen to be watching right now, if they've been displaced by this fire and need resources, you can call the American Red Cross or Cudahy Police. Madison Moore reporting live from Packard and Barnard there in Cudahy. Madison, thank you.